So picking up where we left off, we still have our integer worksheet in front of us, correct? Yes. All right, we're going to look at the question on the back, the eighth one. While returning to the Blackboard, Lucy descended for three minutes at a rate of 400 feet per minute. How much altitude did she lose if her starting altitude was 2,800 feet? What was her final altitude? All right. Did I already do step number one? Did I do step? Oh, okay. All right. Step number two, I need to find the necessary information. What would be the necessary information? Okay, what was her final altitude? And what would I be using to find out what her final altitude is? Skylar? It's 400 feet and... 400 feet, all right. With, hold on. With the 400 feet, um, would that be negative or positive? Um, negative. Why is it negative? Because it says descended. Because she said that she descended, and descended means to go down. Go down. That would represent a negative energy. All right, thank you. How long did she descend? Mm, three minutes. For three minutes. And what's the last thing I would need? 2,800 feet. What is 2,800 feet? A positive. It's positive, but what, off, what does it represent? An altitude. First altitude. Go ahead, Keyshawn. The starting altitude. The starting altitude. 2800 is the starting altitude. Alright, so the first question that it asks is how much altitude did she lose? How did I find that? Someone else besides Skyler. Alright, so do you have your hand up or are you just putting your arm up? Huh? Did you have your hand up? No. It looked like you did. You went like this. Then like this. So how would I find my um, how would I find out how much altitude she lost? That doesn't matter. I'm still asking you a question. By subtracting. Nope, that's not how we would start it off. May you repeat the question again? How do I find out how much altitude she lost? Kiana, what would I be multiplying? Negative 400 times 3. And what would that give me? Negative 1200. So you see right here how I'm using step 5. Step. I'm using step 5, solving the problem by using other integer rules. I'm using my other integer rules here. What integer rule would I be using? So you're three. What integer rule am I using right here? What integer rule am I using right here? Multiplication. Which what which part of multiplication would I be using? What kind of numbers are these? What is the root for a negative and a positive? What multiplying? What multiplying? Y'all did your multiples, correct? So what is the rule for a negative and a positive of multiplying? Oh, a negative times a positive will equal a negative. Thank you. A negative times a positive will equal a negative. That's one of our uh, um, other integer rules. So I'm doing step five. All right. Let's see. All right, so the next question is, if her starting altitude was 2,800 feet, what was her final altitude? Can anybody tell me how I would find that? Mm. Is it uh, subtract. Subtract what? 2,800 feet minus negative 1,200. So I would do 2,800 minus 1,200. And what would that, that give me? 1,600. 1,600. Would you do that on a number line or just... Would you do it on a number line? You could. Um, you want, you're asking me to do it? No, I was just asking. Like, you can. You can do it like that too. You can. I just need your, the numbers on your number line to represent like maybe 
instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe it could be 100, 200, 300, or you can count by 4s, 400, 800, 1200. That way you don't have to draw 2800 lines and then 1200 lines, so on and so forth. Make sense? Good stuff. Alright, take out a sheet of paper. We're going to do some sample problems that you all can work in your group with. I'm going to read the problem and you all will work together to solve the problem. together with your group members. Come on, quick, quick, hurry, hurry, move, move, fast, fast, paper, pencil, let's go. Alright, first problem. A team gained five yards on their first play of the game. Then they lost six yards. Find the total change in yardage. A team gained five yards on their first play of the game. Then they lost six yards. Find the total change in yardage. Are you stretching or do you have an answer? You have an answer? Let's give the rest of the class a chance to find out, and then I'll ask you the transfer. A team gained five yards on their first play of the game. Then they lost six yards. Find the total change in yardage. And to be giving you a piece of pencil and paper to figure that out. <laughs> 